ladies and gents, welcome, welcome. Today we are in East Croydon. I don't know if I've been here before, maybe only to Ikea, but I've never really walked around, so let's see what Croydon looks like. It's been in the paper quite a lot these days. A lot of money is going to be invested in this area, so let's check it out. find my card to tap out Strikes all the time. Hello. Hello. <laughs> okay. I know, I'm aware of that. Thank you so much. Is it bad in this area? <laughs> uh, Brixton, same, same? Or is this worse? This is going to be most of London, I think. Anyone. Yeah, no, no, no. I, I, cycling paths, grab it. I know, thank yeah. you so much. You know what? I saw on a map there is this park. I would like to maybe go have a look. I don't really know. Um, it's like easy hotel is kind of on the roof. Behind that big building. So maybe is there like a bigger park? There was a there was a water tower in it. Uh, I think that is I'm gonna, that one. Yeah. Yeah. So if you I'm gonna, cross over these tram lines, go along the road, keep going straight, and across the dual carriageway, you see a big park. Perfect. That's where the water tower. Amazing. Thank you so so much. So minute three, sorry, or minute two, and I've been warned by <laughs> by the policeman that I should be careful of people snatching phones, coming on the bicycles, and all that, which was very nice of him. I go to all sorts of places, Finsbury Park, Brixton, you name it. I used to live in Tooting Broadway, so I'm, I'm kind of used to the environment. So this is the train station where we are. It's going to get dark, so I better have a look around right now because by the time I come back to this area, it's going to be all dark. Now it's around 4 p.m. I'm going to check precisely in a minute. So the kids are coming out of the schools. It's going to start getting busy. Look at all these buildings being built. Look at that. That might be a shock for for somebody who used to live here and 
moved out and I absolutely love getting comments from people like that that used to know the, the area and now they are surprised to see how it has changed in the meantime so if you know the area and no longer live here do get in touch leave a comment thank you I'm just starting my second phone here for directions. So right now I'm just going blindly based on what, what the policeman told me where to go. Oh yeah, that's the way. Park, what is it? Park Hill Park? For real? That's the name? <laughs> well, it says Park Hill Park. And I see the water tower there, whatever that is. So I figured right now it's 10 to 4. I would go and check the park before it gets dark and then I'll stick to the shopping places because there will be more light for that. Yeah, I got here late. <laughs> late trip to Croydon, better late than never. Let me park, let me, let me plug in my power bank and let's go. I've been eating roasted chestnuts, kilos and kilos of them recently. That's the reason why I get stuck in at home for quite a while. I have to cut them, I have to roast them, then it takes forever to peel them and eat them. So that's what I've been doing these days. It's short season, so I need to make, make the most of it and eat as much as I can. Today is 3rd of, October, 3rd of November, so autumn is in full, full swing. Let's see all the fallen leaves in the park. And then go to civilization, to the shops and everything. There is a woofy. Woof woof. Hey. Hey. Somebody is going to the park to leave little cakes in the fallen leaves. <laughs> Oh my goodness, look at that monster building. What is it? 
I mean, it's gonna be apartments, I guess. It's massive. Whoa, it's massive. Let me take a picture. Okay, job done. I'm so happy to see some sun. It's extremely lucky because it's been raining like it's the end of the world the last few days. Extremely windy and full on rain. So yeah, Park Hill Park. Welcome to Croydon. So walking on the grass is not gonna happen right now because it's completely soaked. Let me try and follow the map so I can find the, the water towel, tower the towel that would be nice to see look at those long shadows now towards the evening beautiful weather compared to the morning we've got clean sky unlucky it was a disaster since the morning today extremely cloudy, extremely rainy This kids playground I saw earlier on the map. Oh, this is the brown thing. Okay. I'm playing with the idea to go potentially to Morocco for a few days in December. I've never been, just for filming, 
like we are talking four days, four days, five days. Just to get out of London and see something else. grass this guy <clears throat> I'm too lazy to look at my map where the water tower is Hiya do, do you know where the water tower is in this area? I have absolutely no idea <laughs> No idea, no worries, thank you Lots of squirrels out and about. There is one here. And doggies. I think that doggy, doggy fun. <laughs> Poor owner is getting tangled up. Look at all these massive leaves. That must look nice in the morning, in the morning sunlight. Very nice. Oh, that's the water tower, you see that? Let me zoom in. Look at that medicinal herb garden here.
Oh, my grandma used to love these. They used to have it painted in their house as a decoration. I haven't seen it in a long time. They sprayed it with like paints, paints of different colors. Oh, they kept it as a decoration in their house. My goodness, I've been filming for 21 minutes and we are just covering the park for now. <laughs> it's gonna be a two hour video by the time I'm done with Croydon. Hey Fluffy, hey Fluffy Puppy, <laughs> if you are watching Fluffy Puppy, I hope you are as fluffy as this squirrel. <laughs> All the leaves are so slippery now. Luckily not too many on the on, on the road. Oh 
look at that. That looks like a forest. You would expect a Rom Romanian bear to jump on you. <laughs> oh my gosh, some water coming out. Come, uh, drop, dripping from the tree. Right now the sun is going down, it's 4 o'clock, 10 minutes, early November, oh my goodness, look at that statue here. This is where we are. If somebody, oh shit. This is where we are being squashed into a pancake. So you got all sorts of houses here, look at that, some flats.
What is this Ruskin house? Whatever that is. So Croydon is supposed to be up and coming place where everybody's buying houses because it's fairly affordab affordable compared to other areas in London. It's well connected to central London. It has loads of shops, so it's a popular area. I actually do have a friend who bought her house in Curdon area, it's a massive, massive place. I don't mean her house, I mean Curdon. So she's happy here. I would like to explore this part going down this road and coming back on the other side they got Thai cuisine some Thai decorations there and we are on south end right now oh look at that they've got pianos and stuff going on guitars and pianos here My goodness, look how many. There is a kebab place across the road. Some decent newly built flats, I believe. It looks nice. Oh, Piri Piri. That would be my kind of place to eat in. I love Piri Piri chicken. Love, love, love. <laughs> it's been a while for me. Italian restaurant here. South End. One pound shop. Poundland. Canna. <laughs> Max hamburger. Looks nice and new, what do you say? Looks very nice. Oh, I see. Off license, I just bought my lottery tickets. I spent five pounds two days ago. I'm still not a millionaire. So disappointing. 
there is a barber across the road looks very nice inside as well famous gents grooming Havana looks like a cafe crepes also that looks very modern inside you probably can't see much because it's zoomed out but I see a little bit and it looks very nice there So it looks like a lot of these things have been refurbished. It's good to see. There is some kind of college here, Croydon, Croydon Metropolitan College, some pub, Skylark, Skylark, something like that. Cheeky fish. Let me actually zoom in a little bit. Oasis, that's nice as well. And cob. Oh my goodness, look at that cute house there. Let me walk to the other side here. Look at that, it says music shop. They seem to love music here in Croydon, that's good. Interesting, interesting. I wonder how old that house is and how haunted it is. My goodness. Ah, uh, Moroccan cuisine. I was just talking about Morocco. It's a sign. Oh, we've got Nigerian restaurant. Look at that. You don't see that every day. And Anish. Would be nice to cross the road and see what's on menu. And right here is... And they've got under new management here. Whatever is going on here. Looks like a... What is it? An Indian restaurant looks amazing. What do you say? Right, looks incredible. Who knew Croydon had places like these? And this one here looks amazing as well. Wow, wow, you are. goodness lazy Sunday rolls look at that Yorkshire pudding yum 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 South Croydon, South End, massive tree house, looks like a pub, restaurant, whatever is going on there, looks nice.
old school. <laughs> Look at this little fluff. Oh, it's tiny. So let's go back to civilization. As I said, it's getting dark. Let's go and see the real deal. Look what I've got here. Curries, vegan. Vegan street food. Oh, I miss that Anish menu, but you can look it up online what I what I have. And this is so cute, look it's so tiny. <laughs> there is some kind of statue right there. Statue with a musical instrument. called Just Flutes. Cheeky, cheeky, cheeky girls. Cheeky fishy. They've got proper balloon, balloons decoration in here. Looks nice. Looks very decent. Chinese restaurant across the road. Peking, Peking and Cantonese cuisine. Another Persian restaurant, Crystal. Looks very nice. So, wow, looks nice, huh? See, I would be here earlier, but those roasted chestnuts kept me in the house. Hashtag priorities, you know. <laughs> I could have gone somewhere else, somewhere closer to my place, because I'm extremely far away right now from my house. Oh my goodness, I'm very, very far away. But I've been postponing coming to Croydon for literally months. So I said to myself, you know what, it's now or never. It has to be ticked off for now. I'm sure I'll be back. That looks nice. Let me take a picture of this. See, there is some kind of cot cottage, Bo Boswell cottage or something like that, number 19. So look at these houses here. That's South End Food Center, Turkish, English, Iranian, Polish, grocery, fruits and veg. Let me zoom in a little bit.
that's a really nice place there. Corner house looks nice. Look at this, this is, um, what you call it, a state agency and they've got a winning formula for selling or letting your home. <laughs> That's quite a decoration, they've got microscope there, you see. Taylors another barbers looking good like all these businesses look brand new really really nice you know Oh, there is more Thai, Anna's Thai. You see that? That's good to see. Thai food is amazing. And that's a massive building. Is is that Le Leon House? Leon House. Leon House. Massive. Whatever that is. Turkish, Turkish food. After spending three months in Turkey, I do, I still need a Turkish food detox. <laughs> See, this is dangerous. When they come from behind quietly, they can snatch your equipment. And it has happened to quite a few people that I know. Not good. Another Turkish there. Across. Across there. The Tava shop sounds kind of Indian. They cook on Tava uh, masala dosa. Let me see. Oh, yeah. I don't see. Oh, yeah. Hold on. No, no, no. I don't see dosa. But I'm pretty sure their stuff is good too. Oh, that's cool. Paratha in Paratha. Nice logo. What is it? Crown and pepper. Looks like a pub. Yeah, it's a pub. Bar of restaurant. Pub.
I might actually have to uh, divide this video once I get to civilization and start a new one. It's better to have two one hour videos than one two hour video. The chances of people finding my videos are higher if I have two videos. Understand? Yes, yes. Was that Chinese restaurant across the road look, looking nice as well? Oh my goodness, look at that painting on the other side. Not painting, but you know, mural, graffiti, whatever you call it. Oh, look, Mossy, if you are watching, of course, your favorite Greg's. That's cool. I can imagine this house on a beautiful sunny morning must look beautiful, nothing like right now. Looks very nice. That Surrey house right here, market, tavern, pub, I guess. And we are underneath the dragon. I think so. I'm not really sure. <laughs> It says Surrey Street Market right here. Obviously it's not gonna be on right now, but it would be nice to come here on a Saturday or Sunday morning and see what's going on. The green dragon, nice. Let me zoom out a little bit for you. Again, that building must look really nice on a sunny, sunny morning. Let me check on the map where I should be going. There is some options, there are some options here. So let's see. Okay, so let me see. I 
I feel tempted to do a live stream here tonight because I came from far away. I might try a short one, maybe half an hour. Um, but I know most people probably tell me don't do that in this area at night, like after dark, you know. But I came from such a long, you know, from far away. So let me see. Let me see what's going on. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. It says, it's called Dice. They've got sparkly, sparkly. Everything looks beautiful in there. Whoa. Wow, I'm impressed with Croydon, I have to say. You know, because I read on the paper, in, in, in the news, how it has to be... Um, where does that go? <laughs> you know, like how it needs um, loads of money to redevelop this area because it's not, it's not looking good. They, they did list different kind of areas in Croydon. It's a massive place, so I'm not talking central, you know, city center, here, town center here. But I still expected this place to look worse than it actually does. I'm impressed. Look at all these old buildings here. 1895, that's proper haunted. By Croydon, Ho by Croydon ghosts. Again, on a on a beautiful morning, that must be beautiful. This bu this building is beautiful. What is it? Gloves, ribbons, silks. Looks like a textile building. It looks absolutely stunning. Love it. And you turn the other direction and you've got all those almost skyscrapers of, of Croydon. I saw somebody called um, those tall, tall newly built bing buildings here, sky, skyscrapers of Croydon. Oh, I love that building here. Linens, something to do with textiles. And that's the post office here. And Croydon Tram. I remember I used to live in Tooting Broadway and I came here somehow using the tram uh, to get myself to IKEA to buy my beautiful plastic storage boxes, black ones. Oh, they are the best. They no longer make them. Best storage boxes of I've ever seen. The plastic ones, I hate them. You see all the mess inside. The black ones look very nice. I mean, grey. It's grey colour. So, oh my gosh, where to go? So many options, look. Civilization that way here. This is George Street. Central Croydon Conserv Conservation Area. What's happening with me today? I can't speak. We are outside of Primark and this looks like a pedestrian zone here. So we are gonna take a little stroll there, but it would be nice to come back here and see what's going on down there as well. Let me check the time. Looks like it's gonna get proper busy. It's gonna be around 5 p.m. now, I think. Ten to five. So it's getting dark. Look at that buildings. Alders. Looks looks absolutely massive. And this one is a an old building.
You see how much water it's been raining a lot. <coughs> oh, this Primark looks massive. Makes me want to go in and buy more leggings for working out. <laughs> Okay, so let's see what's going on down here. Uh, yeah, that doesn't look too good, does it? The bottom, the bottom shops are left abandoned, abandoned. <laughs> Oh, when I see Randux, oh my god, I spent so much money on these stupid PCR tests before traveling to uh, Istanbul. That was stressful. I, in the end, I've done Randux and something else, or maybe maybe two of those, but walking and home one as well, just to make sure I get it on time. What a stressful time. Metro Bank. That looks like a like a shopping mall here, Central. Central. <laughs> what do you how do you pronounce it? Excuse me. They got sports direct there. Oh this is shopping center here, look. What is it? White... White... Wit gift? Oh my goodness, it's hard to read that font. Looks nice though. And we've got Greg's number two. What this place needs is more light. I didn't expect it to be so dark. I'm in the pedestrian place here. Oh my god, the clock has Greg's on top. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's hard to show you, but there is Greg's. You see that? That's insane. Whose idea was that? Oh. Yeah, but it kind of feels dark, doesn't it? I think they could do with extra street lights here. The only lights I see is on top of those buildings. Check this out, this is another old building here. JD must be popular. Makes me wanna go and check what they've got. So I thought I'm gonna divide the video in two 
but it looks like potentially I could keep it in one go and maybe do a live stream and come back here another day in the morning Christmas Christmas what's going on here I wonder if they will let me go in and film a few of those houses there. Oh, what am I saying? A few of those shops there. <laughs> oh, that's a nice sparkly background here. Coco. That's a long street here. Oh my gosh. Are you joking? Look at that phone center. But with so many backpacks there. That looks amazing. I just bought a new one now because my old one got wet in central filming in central London and it died. Oh my gosh, this is paradise. Look at that. Look at those choices. Amazing. Oh. Check out that little house, little tower. You see that? How cute. If you are naughty, you're gonna get locked up in the tower there for a few for a few hours to think how naughty you've been. <laughs> Just looking, looky, looky. Another nicely lit up store. I love the lights there, love it. Oh my goodness, look at, look at that tall building there. Oh my goodness, phone shop after phone shop next to each other. That's one, that's two, and this is the same thing. Three, these guys have also phones in here. Hair extensions, hair products. That's Marks and Spencer there. Yeah, 
You see, what is it, quarter to seven? Is that correct? I'm losing track of time. No, it can't be. Three to five. <laughs> Three minutes to five p.m. Crepes, desserts, <coughs> waffles. Looks nice inside. My goodness. Looks looks well we were. Look at that, boys and girls. This Croydon has nice places, I have to say, and it looks like a lot of. New buildings are happening around here. So now I understand many people want to come here and live here. Another phone shop here. Oh, and we reached West Croydon train station. I saw it on the map. That was my goal to come here. So I'm happy to see I managed to without even looking on the map. <laughs> I just walked straight. like we are in West Croydon, West Croydon Barber here next to me. Oh, you've got price, mm -hmm. shit, sorry. Oh, he should be the one who is sorry, my God, look at that. So quiet behind me, not good. Those are the prices. kebab shop Man, restaurants, fresh Africa. Oh, look at these. Thai people like to clean, sweep with those.
so much fruit and veggies here. Let me check on the map where we are. We've got little ahead of us, I can see that. Yeah, we are out of civilization now, so it's time to turn around and go back. What is that? That long brown thing here, you see that? You don't see that every day. Early till late. I am gonna try my network here and see see if it's any good. I just signed up for twelve months with a new network, so let's see if it's any good. I'm just gonna get myself to civilization. And I'll have to go to the bathroom, obviously, in between videos. I've been filming for a while now, so I can do a long live stream here, ideally. 18.35, this, this place. The old fox and hound. Let me zoom in a little bit for you. So this is the West Croydon station here.
And look at the more shops in here. How do they all stay in business? I usually order all, all my stuff online, so that's crazy to have so many phone shops. Okay, let me check the map to see how I can get to East, East Cordon Station area. That looks quite nice in there. Oh, I see McDonald's. Okay, that's that's a toilet possibility there. But you see how, like it's not dark dark, but it's not, it could do with some extra lights, especially if these shops close at night and you know, there won't be much light coming from the shops, then it's going to be much darker here. Let's check the the lady lady fa ladies fashion here. There is music, so we have to go. Wow, wow, wow! So ladies and gents, I know there is more Croydon, more to Croydon than what we've seen. It was just a quick walk around. I might actually go in, in here that looks like it's gonna be quite nice and there, they might have toilets there as well. I'm gonna end it here and I'm gonna start a live stream. And I would like to ask you to press the like button and subscribe if you are new. I do walking videos every day in London. I post two or three a day from all sorts of areas. As I said, Croydon is extremely far away from me. Uh, I've been postponing it for months and months. So please show your appreciation and press the like button. And I will be here in the daytime in the future because it's not the best at night. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye.